On this part of the tutorial, I will be explaining about lighting. First, disable the environment lighting. We will look into this part in the later part of this video. The setup for lighting is the same workflow as the original render with four types of lighting, point, sun, spot, and area light, but they have different parameters compared with the default renderer. Area light is a lighting that's mostly used when creating a work. You can change the shape of light on the first parameters to any type of shape. The size of light can be changed by adjusting X and Y, but you can also use scale to make the light larger. By clicking visible, the area light will appear in the renderer where you can cast shadow on or off. Intensity in the color is where you can set up lighting's brightness and color. You can adjust the units by watts, lumen, radiance, and luminance. You can change the color with temperature too. For the spotlight, you can change the light size by making it sh sharp or soft. Other part of the feature here is the same as area light. Sun, or as known as direction light, is a light I explained during part 2 subsurface setting. This lighting is a direction lighting which is different from area light. It is a lighting that casts as a sun. By using rotate tool, you can change the position of the sun. Intensity and the shadow softness angle is the only part that, you, that can be adjusted for this lighting. For point light, you can adjust the intensity and the color. You can cast light from one part of the area. That will be all for the four basic lighting. Let's look into environment lighting. There are two options where you can choose IBL or Sun Sky. I will be explaining about IBL selling first. You can import HDR file to use as a PBR lighting. After importing the light, you can change the rotation of the gizmo XYZ to adjust the lighting. Next will be sun and sky. This is a sky that is made inside of a CC and you are able to adjust more detailed. Azimuth is a rotation of the sky. Altitude is the height of the sun. If you make lower such as 5 for example, the sky will become darker. But if you make it higher, it will be brighter. You can also adjust the sky and sun and sky properties in more details. Turbidity determines how much dust is in, in the sky. Sun glow is the intensity of the sun's light. Sun disk is where you can adjust the size of the sun. So this part is the same as directional lighting. Saturation is the color of the sky. So if you make this zero, there will be no color. Horizon height is a height setting for the background's color, ground color and the sky's color. Horizon blur is a blur or transition added to the background between grand color and sky's color. In filter color, you can adjust the color to fit your work. You can adjust the grand color too if you don't want gray lighting. For both IBL and sky, 
You can override the background, reflection, refraction, and transparency. If you want to change this part, please select here. You can use this part of the setting to apply. This will be all for this part of the tutorial. In the next part, we will look into the render settings.